guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to bring you part two of my ColourPop lip swatches. I did a video just like this about a year ago, probably a little bit more, swatching I think 20 or more ColourPop lippies. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below and also on the screen right now so you can check it out if you want to see some of the other colors and formulas that I won't be featuring in this video. In this video though, I have 12 brand new shades and formulas. Not brand new, like that they just launched it, but brand new that I've never swatched on my channel before. I have one lip pencil. I have some of their glosses in both the sheer and like a more pigmented formula. I also have two ultra blotted lips which oh by the way I love also their ultra satin lip don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what your favorite color is down below subscribe to my channel if you have any other video recommendations please leave them down below as well and yeah let's get started so I'm gonna start off with some of the sheer colors the first one here is called saddle up this is a bright sheer coral so these sheer glosses are really pretty just to like put on and like go out. It's very like easy to wear. But if you want to top them off, like off of a lipstick that you have, that would work really great as well. Again, this is in the shade Saddle Up. It's actually one of my favorites. I think my skin tone and my original lip color just works really well against like orangey shades. On me, it's not like as bright of an orange. I think it turns a little bit pinky, so I really like it on my skin tone. Sorry if the lighting goes in and out, by the way, just to let you guys know in advance. I am sitting in front of a window and I cannot control the weather, so. Next up, we have this shade called Casino. This is a sheer pinky red. I mean, it's not as sheer as you would think. As you can see, this isn't that sheer for a quote-unquote sheer lip gloss. You can definitely see the color. It just like livens up my complexion. Totally like this. It's super easy to wear as well. Again, this is Casino. Next up, we have Fairy Floss. This is a sheer pale beige. This is what that one looks like. I think this one is definitely like more of a topper. If you just want something really natural looking, of course you can do that as well. As any other like paler lip glosses, it is a little bit more milky, so it's a tiny bit harder to work with than the previous two, but regardless, it's still really pretty. It, these, by the way, don't feel thick at all on the lips. They Moving on to the ultra blotted lips, these are my newest discoveries from ColourPop and I am just in love, I'll just tell you that straight up. I have two shades here, I have Zuma and Slide, and Zuma is a warm rosy mauve. The concept behind these is that it's supposed to look like a soft, diffused, just blotted like a medium coverage liquid lipstick and it dries matte, it doesn't budge, it feels very soft and comfy on the lips. And those claims are definitely all true. I so this is what Zuma looks like after it's been dried. As you can see, it's like a very soft look. It does look diffused. I don't know how they did it, but it just looks like a blotted lip. I love this formula and it goes on super like light. It's like an air whipped, it's like, a, it's like an even softer formula than whipped. It just feels super nice. You should definitely give this a try if you've been looking at it. I don't think you'll regret it. It's kind of kiss proof too, so. The other ultra blotted lip that I have is called Slide and this is a dusty pink color. And this is what Slide looks on me after it's been dried. I love this as well. I think this one you can almost tell a little bit better what they mean by blotted. You can kind of still see a little bit of my lips underneath even with like a one full like thin layer. That's what makes it like have the blotted look. I really like this one as well. It's definitely more cooler tone than the last one and it's just like a different option for me. So this is again in Slide, which is also a great song for the summer. Next up we have Finders Keepers. This is actually another ultra glossy lip, but it is like a much more pigmented formula. This is described as a creme mid-tone mauve. This color is so pretty. I was obsessed with this color for a little bit. I have like one coat of it on my lips right now and it feels really comfortable. It's very easy and it's also really girly, so yeah, it's really cute. 
So these don't last the longest or anything like that. They're not like long wearing by any means because they're not like thick. But I don't really mind reapplying lip gloss, so just so you guys know. So now we have the Ultra Satin Lip, which ColourPop advertises as high pigmentation and a satin matte finish in liquid lipstick form to keep your lips soft and comfy all day long. I'd say that's definitely accurate. It's much more comfortable than their Ultra Matte Lips, but it's not as thin as the Ultra Blotted Lips. So it's kind of like an in-between. And the first color I have here is Alyssa, and this is a muted pink. So this is what Alyssa looks like on me dried. As you can see, it doesn't dry as dry as the ultra matte lips. If you watch my other swatch videos, those dry down super duper matte. These, this is like as dry as it's gonna get. It does have that like matte look, but it doesn't look like, whoa, like super like editorial matte, you know what I'm saying? But on the flip side, it's way more comfortable. The ultra matte formula I've mentioned before, I have to wear a lip balm underneath for me to like bear with it. And these are not transfer proof, just so you know. They are just like normal lipsticks, but they dry down a little bit more matte. Okay, next up I have Magic Wand. This is also another ultra satin lip, and this is a light nude. This is what Magic Wand looks like on me dried. You can definitely see it's like a matte finish though. Like you can kind of see the lines in my lips. I don't know if that's a good look, but I feel like that's what matte lipsticks do to you. So yeah, this is a light nude, and I like it. Okay, so the last ultra satin lip I have here is called Echo Park, and this is a warm peachy nude. Okay, so this is what Echo Park looks like on me after it's been dried a little bit. It's definitely a darker nude on me, but it's cute. Again, this is Echo Park. This is the limp pencil in the shade Skimpy. Skimpy pencil is described as a soft pinky nude. So this is what the shade Skimpy looks like on my lips. Just a little bit of lip balm because my lips are super dry today because of all the lip swatches. But otherwise, this formula is very smooth. It's not that drying at all. So it's very Next up, we have the lippy stick in the shade Poppin. This is a matte X formula. And this is a vibrant raspberry shade. almost has like a powdery feel to them. It's definitely very pigmented and super vibrant. This is the shade Poppin on my lips. I really love this. It's really gorgeous, very vibrant. I think this is called Matte X because these lippy sticks are actually more matte than their regular matte formulas. You can feel it like it's like a powdery feel. It's not as moisturizing as the regular mattes because you know they're more matte, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. It's not like in the uncomfortable realm. These are not that transfer proof. You can still see a little bit, but it's not like fully, you know, transferable. And last but not least, we're gonna swatch the Matte X Lippy Stick in the shade Chateau. This is a blackened red color. So this is what Chateau looks like on me. Forget the application, I just kept drawing my lips bigger and bigger to try to fix my shape, but it's just kind of like point of no return now. But look at this color, it's amazing, I love it. Super vampy, very, very like crazy cool. Well, I feel like this would look really good on a lot of skin tones actually. Still really comfortable wear. Again, this is in the shade Chateau. Okay guys, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. You might notice I ended up in a different shirt. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And if you have any other requests, please leave it down below. And please subscribe if you like to. I would love to see you back here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm actually going to start off with two glosses that I have. Oh, 